Hey y'all, welcome back to Sunflowers and DIYing. So excited you could join me here. I am going to be crafting some ornaments. Yay, I love making ornaments. I think they're so fun, but anything to do with Christmas or even fall is always fun to do. So if you need inspiration, make sure you stick around. I have three quick ones here. Also, there is a playlist that will be linked in my description box below. So make sure you stick around so you can watch the whole entire playlist and get lots of inspiration. So first here, I'm going to use this wooden round that was given to me. Um, I think we had a collaboration before or something and that's how it got it. So I'm not sure. I'm sure you can get them Amazon or whatnot or Dollar Tree probably even has some every once in a while. So now I'm going to take this napkin that I got from Dollar General and it came in a pack and it was a dollar and I got um, a pack of those. And then also I'm going to use, um, use some uh, Mod Podge. The, it's a, I'm just using what's on hand. This is a high gloss Mod Podge. You could use whatever you have on hand. And I'm just trying to trim up the napkin as best I can to fit the, the circle the, of the wood round there and just to make it work. So now I'm just going to take and start in the middle and I'm just going to add some um, Mod Podge and just gently take it and bring it out as I go. And then um, as I do that, I'm going to just uh, just gently continue to do that. I don't want to, the wrinkles isn't to me the problem, it's the um, ripping it. If you put too much Mod Podge on your paintbrush and you press too hard, you will end up ripping it. So just make sure you're careful and you just do the best you can. So then after that, I am going to um, just sand down some of the edges and just get it get the um, cleaned up there so that none of that uh, napkin is hanging over or anything. So just, just making the best of it. And so then I didn't like how that wood part of it was exposed like that. It kind of looked corny and just, I don't know, I just didn't like it. So now I came with an idea and I'm going to use this. Um, it's actually a makeup sponge thing, um, but I keep them in my craft room to use for different things like this. So now I needed to make it look like there was snow you know, like a winter scene thing. And so I am going to just dab it up and down in light motions. I'm not going heavy. I did go heavy there in the top just a little bit more, but I even went over the tree. I wanted to look as natural as I could and I just kept adding and then I would just um, set it back a little bit and just look, you know, so just do to your liking. Um, this is just for inspiration, like I said at the beginning. Um, I think it turned out really cute how it is. I mean, it's definitely different, um, but it's still cute. So funny story about the, um, why at the end you'll see that two of them do not have ornament hanging pieces like the, some string or anything. Um, the drill is at, um, somewhere else. So I wasn't able to make that happen. So anyway, I will come back and drill holes in it and add some string so we can be able, or some twine so we can be able to hang them up on our tree. So now I'm going to take this one and I'm just using the antiquing wax and from Waverly and I'm just uh, just using the same sponge, a, a sponge dauber maker makeup thing, and I'm just going to stain it on there right quick. I do the front and the back just so that the back is finished. Um, and that's it. And so now I'm just going to take a stencil. It came in a pack of like, I don't know how many was in there, of um, off of Amazon. First I take this off. And then I'm going to take the stencil here in just a minute and I use that as my piece to add to this. So, um, yeah, I forgot what I was going to say. Uh, so here is the stencil I'm going to use. So I'm going to take the hazelnut and some white and I mix it up on the wood round. That is actually the same wood round that I used at the beginning for the first DIY. Um, I should have probably showed this one first so you could see what I did. And then I just use that as my paint stain, um, my painting for my um, wood round. I, the two colors mixed and I just was like, you know, it'll work. It'll look just fine. So I'm just going to dab up and down, just dab it up and down, stenciling motions. Uh, you go up and down, you cause less bleeding. Uh, using a sponge brush definitely helps. Um, or a stenciling brush. Um, what else? Oh, and less paint on it. You definitely want to have less paint. That's why I use the surface to allow me to create less paint on my project or on my sponge. So just up and down motions um, help. Less paint and just, you know, just slowly take your time. 
And so now I'm just going to add some white in there, uh, brighten up my white a little bit more. And that's just for dimension. It's for character, just different textures there. I didn't want it to be a complete hazelnut color. Um, I wanted to have some different textures and colors in there. So that was the next color I used was the white. Um, I think it turned out really cute. I like how it's on the, um, and there's me just painting the wood brown. I like how it's on the dark wood um, piece, how that, um, oh, what's it called? What did I just use? Waverly um, Antiquing Wax, the Antique Wax. Um, I like how it just bounces off of that really good, you know, nicely. It kind of really has that sharp edge there. It just, I don't know, it looked really good. It turned out really cute on that. And so, um, again, I will put holes in these later and then add my twine to it and things like that. Uh, so I do apologize. I did not get that in my video. You will see on one of them it is done, and that's because it's a thinner wood, and I could use my, um, oh, what's it called, hole puncher thing. So there's that, and that's all I did for this one. Oh, no, I didn't. I came back in with some black. Um, this is just regular, ch um, not chalk paint. This is just regular paint. I just like it in the squirt bottle. So I just put it in the squirt bottle. So now I'm going to take this, um, flat paintbrush that I have here and I'm going to use this envelope just to be my, um, to take less off. And then I'm just, just, just distressing it all around the edges there. And it really just brings out the deer and the whole project all together and really makes it pop a lot more. You can choose to do this or you just, you know, just get inspired by it or whatnot, <laughs> whatever you enjoy doing. Um, and so, yeah, so I'm just going to take it gently and just get it off of the, um, um, pull it towards me, you know, towards the center of the project. And when you have less paint on it, it allows you to do it so much better. And then you don't mess it up by adding too much. So there's that one. I think it turned out really cute. And so this is a Christmas ornament hosted by Crafty Hints and co-hosted by Rustic Lace and DIY and Six Kids and a Glue Gun. Y'all, don't forget to check out their channels. I will have their in their th them three ladies' individual link, but I will also have the playlist link in my description box below where there are going to be lots of inspiration for ornaments, Christmas ornaments. Um, ornaments make great gifts. If you're making a basket, like a gift basket, and you could just put one of your homemade ornaments in it. Um, and so, yeah, just, you know, just have fun with it. Enjoy it. And don't limit yourself. Just enjoy it and just just make it happen. You can date it. Um, don't feel like you don't have things that you can't, you know, you don't have to have the fancy things to make it. I'm using things that are already on hand that most crafters have. Paint, Mod Podge, and wood rounds. If not, you run to the Dollar Tree and you grab it. Or order them off Amazon if you're that type or whatever. Um, and then like this one right here. This isn't my favorite. That's why I saved it for the last. Um... So definitely, um, it's, it's so it's, it's endless. You can use so many heavens is the lot and is the limits for sure. So now I'm going to take this, um, napkin. This is also the same napkin from when I got it at dollar general. It came with the four, three corners, like with the deer and the trees there. And then it comes with the truck and the barn in the back. So we had, um, been praying for about last three years now that the Lord would provide a farm for our family. Well, the Lord did. He opened up that door for us. We were able to buy our farm, our homestead, and we closed on that. And we have been working on it now for the last couple of weeks. And so we are super excited to have, um, we're not going to be completely moved in there, but it is a start. Um, so I'm making this ornament and to remind us of God's goodness and of allowing us to be able to have our first Christmas at our homestead. So, um, I just decided to take this, um, barn. That is definitely not what it looks like. It is definitely a working progress and that's okay. We will, we are going to enjoy every moment as we are fixing it up and just continue to thank God for his goodness to our family. And so now I just took some white paint, gave it a quick coat, dried it, added a layer of Mod Podge, and then I'm going to take this napkin, line it up the best that I can to get it straight and, um, just to get as much of the pieces of it I can. Again, it doesn't have to be perfect. You just do what you can. I also allowed it to dry so that um, I can be able to lift it up and down because I'm going to use my iron to adhere it on there because it reactivates the um, Mod Podge. 
So I'm just going to use this right here and then um, I will take the iron again with the parchment paper in between and just lay it down and it adheres it properly. And I don't get any wrinkles really in it. Um, I don't think, yeah, I don't think I got any in it. And so I'm just going to just gently press it down, give it, get it in place to where I want it. And then the iron comes in handy to really reactivate and adhere it down properly. So, and then I come in with the sanding block. So you'll see here just a second. Excuse me. So I'm just putting it on there real quick and just going it over. It doesn't take much at all. And then just lift it up gently so that, you know, you're, because there are some corners that the Mod Podge wasn't completely, the napkin wasn't covering the Mod Podge. So it will do that. So just pull it up gently and it'll be just fine. So now I'm going to take my sanding sponge from Dollar Tree and I am going to just sand up the edges. Um, people have used uh, the fire and stuff. I personally don't like that method, but you do you. So I'm going to take the sponge and I'm just going to uh, take it in downward motions to give it a clean, crisp look to it, and then it allows it to look like it was meant for that. So now I'm just going to write the Maori um, Homestead First Christmas, and um, and I'm just going to put that at the bottom, and then I wrote December, well, I wrote the DEC 2023 on it. I think this was going to be really fun to put on our tree and just to really enjoy you know, just as a friendly reminder. So after I do that, I do end up going over it with another layer of Mod Podge and then drying it. And that's just because I just wanted to make sure that it was going to be there and not anything else. So yeah, so let me know which one is your favorite in the comments below. Um, I enjoy them all. I had so much fun making them, but I definitely would have to say this one's my favorite. So let me know which one is yours. And then I, again, don't forget to check out the playlist. I will have that link in my description box below. So here I'm just going to take my hole puncher. And again, this wasn't wide enough for me to get it in the other ones. Going to put poke a hole in it and then add some twine. I did two different kinds. I did the um, natural and the red. And then I did a, just a natural one. And you don't have to do that. I just chose to do it that way. So now I'm going to size it up the way I want it. I should have added a tiny bit more, but it still worked out in the end. So then now to get it through the, um, the bead through it, the best way to do that is grab some tape. Don't even try to do what I'm trying to do here. Grab a little bit of tape. I used washi tape. You can use whatever's on hand. Wrap it around it and give it a nice point at the top and allows you to pull it right through. So I did one of the Buffalo checks, which I got these off Amazon, I think a couple years ago, they were on sale or something. So make sure you're checking Amazon, um, like $3 for, I can't remember how many, like 60 or something. I don't know. So, um, and then I did a black one and then I did another Buffalo check one. And then, so I took that tape off and then now I'm going to separate them and I was going to tie it separately, but I'm like, no, I need to do it this way. I just like that look so much better. So um, I ended up doing this, but I didn't do it slow enough. So you'll see here in just a second, I pull it right out and that's okay. Um, just make sure you do it slow enough so that you can really get it in. So now I'm going to take the fire just to get all the singes off. And then I'm going to um, tie it, try to tie it again. I, like I said, I should have done it, added just a tad bit more, but again, it's okay. And um, so this is what I was talking about. I was like, nope, nope, nope. I don't like the side. So I just take it and just do it not like this. And it worked. I just needed to go slower so that I could really get that super tight and not come and done or still allow me to hang it on a tree branch, even though it doesn't need much, but still. So there's that one. I had three quick DIYs here for you. I hope that you enjoyed this video. I hope that you get inspired by all of these ornaments and the playlist and really want to look at a napkin a total different way and really enjoy crafting with them this season. So don't forget to check out the playlist and remember, be someone's sunshine. Bye y'all.